Welcome to our lecture online. Our next problem deals with a square piece of cardboard that we're going to fold up. We're going to take the edges and fold it up and notice we're folding an edge of four centimeters over here and four centimeters over there. These are indeed centimeters, four centimeters. And we want a box once we folded it up in such a way that the volume is 160 cubic centimeters. So we need to know how big a piece of square cardboard a sheet of, of cardboard that we should start with in order to have the end product being a box with that volume. Of course, it's an open box with no lid. All right. <clears throat> so what we can say is, first of all, we know that the volume of a box is equal to the length times the width times the height. Now, in this case, we can see that the length and the width are going to be the same. So we can say that the length is going to equal the width. And now we can indicate how big the length, the width, and the height are going to be in terms of x. We can say that the length is going to be equal to x minus twice the amount that we fold up. So minus 2 times 4 centimeters because we're folding up both sides. And then the width is going to also be equal to x minus 2 times 4, and the height is going to equal 4. And so that means that this is equal to x minus 8, and this is equal to x minus 8. And now we're ready to set up the equation for the volume. We can now see that the volume, being 160, is equal to the length, which is x minus 8, times the width, which is x minus 8, times the height, which is 4, and that equation needs to be solved for x. So let's first uh, multiply everything on the right side. So we have 160 is equal to x squared minus 16x plus 64 times 4. Now we can go ahead and continue multiplying everything out. So 160 is equal to 4x squared minus 64x plus 256. And now we can move the 160 over. So we have 0 is equal to 4x squared minus 64x plus 256 minus 160. And if we subtract this from this, I think we end up at 90, 96, 96. Yep. All right. So 0 equals 4x squared minus 64x minus 96. And it looks like we can divide both sides of the equation by 4. So when we do that, we end up with 0 equals x squared minus 16x and minus, is it minus? Oh, no, 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 this is plus. We've got to be careful. That's bigger than this, so this is plus 96 divided by 4, so plus 24. And it looks like we might be able to factor this equation. So let's see here. Maybe, maybe not. 8 times 3, 6 times 4. No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like we're going to have to use the quadratic formula. So we have 0 equals ax squared plus bx plus c. In this case, a equals 1, b equals negative 16, and c equals 24. So that means that x is equal to a minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2 times a. So in this case, we have x is equal to minus b, that's a minus times a minus 16, it's 16, plus or minus the square root of 16 squared minus 4 times a times c, which is 24, all divided by 2a, which is 2. So x is equal to 16 plus or minus the square root of 16 squared, that's uh, 14 minus, that's 256, minus 96, all divided by 2, which is equal to 16 plus or minus the square root of, uh, that would be 160, divided by 2. And now it looks like we're going to need a calculator. 160, take the square root of that, that gives us 12.65. So that means x equals 16 plus or minus 12.65 divided by 2. So that's equal to, when you add them together, that would be 28.65, 28.65 divided by 2, which is 14.32, 
or if subtract 16 minus 12.65 divided by 2, which is equal to 1.68. Now notice it doesn't seem likely that 1.68 is a good solution because there's no way you can cut 4 centimeters from a cardboard that's only this big across. So it looks like this is the cardboard we're going to use. So X is 14.32 centimeters. Now, if that's the case, then do we indeed end up with a box of 160 cubic centimeters? So let's try it and see what we get. So 14.32 minus 8. So that means that the length is equal to, and actually we can put that over there. So 14.32, 14.32. Um, minus 8 equals at 6.32, so 6.32, 6.32, and the height is 4. So that means that to check, we're going to see if the volume is indeed what we're looking for. The volume is going to be 160 centimeters cubed, so volume equals 6.32 times 6.32 times 4. And let's see if we get the right answer. So we square that times 4 equals, and yes indeed, that's approximately equal to 160 centimeters cubed. And therefore, we got the right answers. So that means we're going to start out with a box that's 14.32 centimeters by 14, not a box, but a, a cardboard sheet that's 14.32 centimeters by 14.32 centimeters. We're going to fold up 4 centimeters on both sides, on the width and the length on both sides, and we end up with a box with a volume of 160 cubic centimeters, and that is how it's done.